So the most recent time that I've had to Narcan someone, I think it was maybe like six months ago. I was at a hotel with my friend and her boyfriend. He was one of those guys that like just kept doing more and more and more even when he didn't need more. And we had said something to him and he didn't respond. And we looked over and he was blue in the face, not breathing. Um, I was looking for my Narcan um, and Stephanie was screaming and I quit looking for my Narcan, told Stephanie she needed to find it and I started doing CPR on him and then she finally found it and I hit him once and got nothing. Um, so I waited like, I felt like I waited forever. Um, it was probably only a couple of minutes though and Stephanie found another one so I hit him again. He still wasn't doing anything and I was told Stephanie, I'm like, we're gonna have to call 911. Like if he doesn't come to like in the next like 30 seconds, like or else he's gonna die. So she found one more and I hit him one more time and he like gasped for air and I didn't think that he was gonna come back. Like how many times that we had to hit him. Like it's scary being around someone who's like dead or dying and you can't do anything. You, like having to wait for paramedics to get there, it's like excruciating. It's the worst thing to ever experience. So I love having Narcan because I've been in situations where I didn't have it and it's like the worst feeling. It was in a hotel room with a lot of people that I didn't know and I didn't even know the kid that overdosed. But everyone started freaking out and was just trying to leave the hotel room and was just going to leave him. That day if I wouldn't have been there, like, they were just going to leave him. <laughs> so, I don't know, like, some people are just messed up. I think that the people that should have access to Narcan is everybody. Like, whether you're a user or not, like, I think everyone should. Because you don't know what kind of situation you're gonna walk into or be around and need it.